I thought something was wrong with my position when I was playing this five minute game at about two hours ago. Uh, so here we go. This is, um, I just saw it and I thought oh, I won't put it on. Then I thought, uh, okay, I'll open my arms up. I will put it on. Why will I put it on? Because that's chess. So things don't always go one's way. So um, here we go. Let's get into this game here. This is a five minute game played on my cell phone. Okay, we all know that. So I hope you enjoy. See me possibly lose. So here we have the F4 move. Don't worry, it's not a repeat from the other day. It's the same move that white plays on move two, and I play the same move on move two as well. But it's not the same game. I started being misbehaving again. Um, with playing on the king side again. Now my threat is um, simply this. Okay, so uh, white plays bishop e3, defending the d4 pawn. And I take this knight off. I don't know if this is any good or not, but that's what I played. Now I have ideas of, naughty ideas, of knight here, h6, rook g8. And it doesn't even maybe look that great anyway because white can look at this position for their queen sooner or later. So anyway, rook b1 and a5, knight b5, knight b4, a4, rook c8. Now I'm playing on the queen side. Rook f2. Knight f7, g4, fair enough. So go back there again. So if g f5, then knight f5, and if bishop f5, rook f5. So I quite like that for black. Might be really bad, but I really like it. So here comes rook g1. I play g6. This um, asks the question, or not. And black is met with g5. Knight f7 looks pretty sad for the knight now. It's going to take a bit of getting out of here, but can just go to here and knight d8 and knight here and that sort of thing, and maybe start playing on the queen side. <laughs> h4 and white's playing on the king side. So I play here my move, which is either really good or really, really stupid. I play h5 and my opponent takes, takes, and rook g6. Now after knight g4 check, my opponent takes the knight on g4. Because now I'm threatening um, knight here, but I'm not really. So black is not threatening knight e3. Um, because queen h5 looks like checkmate to me, Dave. So... My opponent, though, overreacted and played rook g4. And I believe that white's probably won here. And um, queen g4, now I probably have to play um, rook g8. But I don't like it. So I probably have to play this move here. But I don't. I play knight d3. And, and rook g8's... Um, pretty terrible anyway I'll just rook g8 and new variation queen here check king here but this probably is the, the right move for me to play here now black could be met by this and this looks quite good actually this is looking quite healthy Is it? I don't know. 
Anyway, back to the drawing board, as we call it, Notor notoriously. Knight d3. So here, um, black's completely lost after queen check. So that's why I saw it, and I almost thought, oh, I won't put this game on. This is very, very embarrassing that queen h5 loses to my 21, um, 37 player rated. Okay, so queen h5, and I'm looking very sad here. New variation, king in the king here or here, and the computer would find this in a flash. The only move is this, which is not going to do because of rook g5. If queen g5, it's really, really pathetic. Or is it? What is actually going on here? Now the king can go here now. So it might not be um, absolutely terrible, but it doesn't look great. I've got two rooks and a knight, of course, for... Um, White's um, two pieces and queen. So I might have some chances here, but who knows? I don't really like it much. And there's probably way better moves than I've just um, juggled out of this position from um, uh, queen h5 check, which is very embarrassing, like I said. So here we go off the main line. So here um, I have relinquished white from there white squared bishop and so now I play rook f7 oh what's going on here oh no that's right I played rook c2 check first and then the king came back to h1 and now I play rook f7 because I'm meeting this move with rook h7 and then all of a sudden I've got a one game so flip flop um, sort of position this so I play rook f7, and my opponent takes the pawn, fair enough. And here I just go here with threats of checkmate in um, two moves. Uh, with rook h4 check, and rook h3 taking the green checkmate. So white plays um, rook g4, and here it's too late for white maybe to swindle me. I play bishop h4, which um, now threatens um, some moves to, to count for um, white. Um, See so if I go bishop check, then it's not checkmate because the king can move to g1 or rook h4 for those purists. So if I go here, then white's got... Um, King g1. So I probably would be greedy and go bishop here check. And bishop takes check. And etc. Probably missing things. So that's not very good is it? So but this game doesn't finish yet. This game doesn't finish yet. Um, King g1. So now I've got knight e1. Just thinking well the knight's good on d3. But it looks even better on a, on f3 because then it would force the king to f1 because a rook h2 checkmate if it goes to h1. So I played this and I thought this looks pretty good. Knight d6 and I'm not really too worried now. I would have before um, had white threatened me with knight f7 check um, trying to win my queen. So here I play knight f3, and so for those who want to see this, this is no good, because this is checkmate. So, white plays to f1. Now I just pick up this loose rook now. So now it's very sad for white. Sad for white, because really I don't deserve this. King g1, knight g4, knight f7, no, knight f7 didn't happen. Rook g7, now knight f7, this is just like now pathetic. And here comes queen, g, uh, queen h5, queen g6, rook g7, that was the end of that game. 
Now I would like to show you the game. I hope I've got time. I probably haven't. So I'm going to show you this game real quickly um, that was played in the London um, uh, Rapid Tournament between Grandmaster, the young Grandmaster. Um, I will attempt this because I don't use it. Andre, Andre, and Esipakinko, Esipakinko, or so, versus uh, Woman Fide Master Victoria Chunyak. I probably just got that wrong too. So, this is the London Open, and this is that game. I'd just like to show you it. Okay, so I'm going to be quick, and but I might talk. So the London system in London. So C5, E3. Now what does White do here? Um, the, um, the young Grandmaster. He plays Bishop G3. He could take on D6 or he could leave his Bishop there but that wouldn't be very good. Castling and here's knight bd2. So I was a wee bit surprised by this bishop d3 because I thought, well, you know, um, black's just going to play bishop a6, which they do. He just plays bishop a6, knight a6. He was very calm. And queen e2. And here, obviously, the knight's attack, so she chooses what square to pull it. So she plays it to. Uh, uh, B8 again. E4. So, White's busting open and threatening E5. So, this is Knight E4 comes. And here, Black's got chances of doing whatever. But, this is clearly no good. Okay. This is clearly no good as this is very, very good for white. And now white will win some material. So, um, Victoria goes bishop e7. And now comes the crunch on c5. And so, of course, not bishop c5, as... Queen uh, as knight f6. Uh, was it knight f6? Not bishop c5 because probably um, knight c5 and white will have a very nice black square bishop and can just sort of like um, push this pawn as is coming anyway. So knight c5, um, bc5, knight f6, queen e4. So this um, forces black to do something about their rook on the a8, of course. So they play knight d7, she does. Victoria, woman's fide master back then, maybe higher now. And so what now? Okay, so black is met with rook, um, rook castles on the long side. The um, three zeros in a row. You don't want that in the tournament, like some friends have said in an interview that I've given. So here we've got um, Castling Long. And Queen C8. So Black's sticking to the border, and fair enough, really, too. Um, there's no other moves, of course. Um, here's no good, clearly for bishop to d6 and winning the exchange at least so the queen's hampered to go somewhere where she can go so this is probably all worked out so she goes here she can't go here of course because of the red arrow so she goes and she can't go there because the knight is lifted on d7 so she goes to c8 and her queen does go to c8 so now what happens next is yes I said it before h4 now 
this is just starting to um, probably annoy Black's King Camp um, because now we're just we, not we, but this Grandmaster is just threatening here and wanting to open things up. So knight b6, knight g5. Now clearly this is not going to be very nice for black if bishop g5 check happens. As hg5 will, will be quite comfortable for white very very quickly indeed. And also white's got this black squared bishop which is very harmful to white um, to black's camp. So here clearly um, queen h7 is threatened. So f5 will not do because um, black gets met with just gf6 and if g6 then we can just go here, this is what I would do, queen here, and if after h5, we can just about play just this and threaten this, almost, just queen takes h5. But that's just my um, dealings with it. So here she plays g6, which is obviously more um, sensible than my variations for black. So what happens now? And uh, good on you if you see it. Um, it would be really annoying to meet. Um, the Grand Master, the young Grand Master, plays, n um, oh sorry, Bishop E5, sorry. And then the Bishop goes back. Because clearly this is not going to be any good. And if Black thinks, oh I'll take this, like this is what I might think, this and F6, oh no, because Queen e6 is check and then wins a pawn at least for white. So here we got bishop e7 which it looks quite okay still until the next move. Wham bam. Ouch. Now so this um, probably forces um, king h7. Uh, maybe f5 is possible here. I'll just have a look what the engine says. Yes, f5. So the computer gives f5, which is going to... Um, I'll see what it says now. Oh, that's interesting. So here we go. That my move of not taking the knight and f5 being played is better i can't believe it i didn't look at that before but i just tried it just then um if you don't believe me, that's okay, I don't mind, because I know, I know, I just found f5 instead of king h7, and it gives white um, the problem of still having to break in. But this one, um, we're going king h7 is h5. Now this is pretty hard. Now comes f5, but now it's just a little bit too late because of this, and the king hasn't got anywhere but to take the pawn or to play bishop h4 which we're not looking at and this is no good clearly because of you know rook h8 checkmate so the king takes the pawn now the queen just goes somewhere where does she go does she go here does she go there does she go uh there no 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 we're not looking at that she just drops back here and here she's threatening of course just queen h5 check. Now if, um, you know, sorry, queen h5 check mate. So if rook h8, that would be pretty sad, I think. Um, white would probably choose between what to take it with. Um, but there's even, um, there's other moves too. Um, 
like cringy through in check but I wouldn't want to sort of be um, unsensible about it I'd rather just say Queen F3 and so we're not going to play Rook there because it's going to be quite good for um, White um, being a Rook and Queen versus um, a Rook and two bits eventually so here we have Bishop G5 check we have to respond to that we do not want to play Bishop F4 here because then probably black is um, in a good position. King B1, and still this is the big threat. So what does she do? She plays F4, I believe. And here comes a, a couple of simple moves. How would you finish um, black off here? So play like a grandmaster. How would you finish this game off? So if you don't want to see how um, white wins in about three moves or thereabouts, then pause. So here we have um, not queen e4 check, because then the rook can just go there um, on f5 and feel quite comfortable. But queen h5, and now what happened is... Um, what happens now a we quiet move just to sort of like prevent things like um, maybe king takes bishop which is not the greatest in the world anyway so a we quiet move here is a rocky one now um, uh, white is having black merely look on which I've heard that this um, grand master likes to do to his opponents likes to have them just been able to look on so that would be like a la um, Gary Kasparov or a la um, Anatoly Karpov where white is um, like this for Kasparov he's just going like this hovering his hand above so here comes Queen B7 and now what um, do we want to just um, have a draw no we don't we play g4 okay now there's no other move on the planet than other than resigning is this move and after the next move black just resigns so what's that move just simple as fg3 now we have the big horrible threat of g4 checkmate so Victoria, the woman Fide master, which she probably beat me, um, was of course resigns here in this place. So that's all from David Wiegner, Canterbury Junior Chess Coach of the club. Um, over and out.